Sideshow drops a totally new character into their Avengers Premium Format line. This is the Taskmaster Premium Format figure, but is this a display or nay? Let's find out. If this is your first time on the channel, please subscribe and turn on notifications so you can stay up to date on all of our collecting content. Now the Taskmaster goes up for sale on Sideshow tomorrow for the exclusive. I will have a link in the description below for you guys to get it that will not cost you anything extra, but it does help the channel, so I greatly appreciate your support. But if the exclusive is not for you, and you want a discount and a free item to go with it, check out Collector Zone. They will be adding a free lithograph when you reserve it with them, but that deal ends at midnight tonight, so get the move on if that's what you wanna do. And whether you wanna reserve it now or order it later, use the code MCE and get a discount on your purchase. Remember, Collector Zone has payment plans and a point system for future purchases, so head over to Collector Zone, your wallet will thank you for it. So first up, let's give a round of applause to Sideshow for giving us something new and different, something other than Batman and Wolverine and other money grabs. I appreciate this and I hope those of you that are fans of Marvel characters and the Avengers in particular go out and show your support for this character so Sideshow can continue to make new characters like this. Taskmaster is an enemy of all Marvel heroes but I've mostly seen him associated with the Avengers, Spider-Man, Moon Knight, Daredevil and the Punisher. So really even if you're not collecting the Avengers he fits right in with many of Sideshow's Marvel hero premium formats. Let's knock out the technical specs. Taskmaster stands 21 and a half inches tall and 25 inches deep. He is made of polystone with a fabric cape and will run 580 for the collectors and 595 for the exclusive that features a swap out head. Overall size for this one is wide so it will be difficult to display. He will fit into a best of for sure, definitely not a detoff, but looking at his design the width is all coming from the extended arm with the sword. So it's all going to his right side or his left side if you're viewing him. That means that you'll have to keep this guy on the right side of your display for it to look good I think. Price I think is on par with most premium format figures. I have no complaints there but here is another example of why I think the Sideshow Mythos line is out of whack. Normally a fabric cape would be a hell no for me but after my experience with their last Batman premium format figure, no not that one. Yes, that one. And the Daniel Bell Thor, I have a new respect for fabric capes offered by Sideshow. The wire system they have in the capes allows for some really good posing, and I like to give my own spin on things. Also, it means that after you pose it, no two will be entirely the same. So I'm digging it. The base on this one is really just a pedestal. There's nothing that sets the scene or gives a story to it. It's not really special at all. All that I could say that's good about it is that it certainly doesn't take anything away from the character. So that's cool. Now the famous and talented Martin Canal laid down the sculpt for this one and Casey Love again gives us an amazing paint job. I really love both aspects here. The paint is very vibrant and colorful and the composition is fantastic. I love that Sideshow did their best to stick to the classic comic look with a few of Sideshow's modernized upgrades to enhance it. Taskmaster's signature ability is that he's basically a copycat. He can replicate any and all physical moves done by anyone at an above human rate of speed. This guy must have been really annoying at get-togethers. Whoa, that's crazy. Man, Man we've, we've been, been spending, spending way too much time together. together. Okay, stop copying me. So to show that, Sideshow made sure that Taskmaster came with some of his weapons, like his signature shield with the T logo, a bow and quiver similar to Hawkeye's weapon, and a sword similar to the Black Knight. Lastly, the portrait is the classic skull face, just like in the comics. Now, someone in my Knights group on Facebook mentioned that it looks a lot like Skeletor, and now I can't get that out of my head. It, it does have a similar look to it, but it's a skull face for both of them, so not sure what they could have done to make that look any different. It doesn't bother me at all, really, but it's just a remarkable resemblance. For me, though, the exclusive head is where it's at. The tactical head, to me, looks more menacing, and it looks more modernized. I like the lines on it, the way the teeth look on that one, and I especially like the yellow eyes. The only thing I wish they did was glow or light up. That would push it for me. So is this a display or nay? It's a display all day for me. Sideshow hit the mark with this one. They gave us something new, which we've been asking for, they priced it fairly, and they gave us a cool exclusive option that actually works. Now, if they could only apply this to the Star Wars Mythos line, I could stop bitching at them. As always, guys, these are the opinions of this collector. I welcome you to share yours in the comments below and I respect your thoughts about them. 
If you're getting it, please consider using the link that I'll be providing in the description below. This does help the channel and I greatly appreciate it. Or contact Collector Zone if you're getting the regular version and use the code MCE to save yourself some money. Till next time, guys, keep it marvelous.